Follow my Twitter at It's Karen Terry for a zodiac based writing prompt. Here's Scorpios. The key word for Sagittarius is optimistic. Put the sun, moon, or ascendant position in Sagittarius for your character to come off as idealistic or outdoorsy or impatient. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk all about Sagittarius characters. As always, if you didn't watch my first astrology video, I'm going to link it up in the card. I recommend watching that first so that you have context for everything we're going to go through today. And today, we're going to go through Sagittarius characters. So don't forget, let me know about your Sagittarius characters down below. Sagittarius is represented by the Archer. It's part of the fire element, and its quality is mutable. Fire signs are typically known for their strength and energy. And mutable signs are seen as welcoming change because they come at the end of one season and the beginning of the next. And Sagittarius falls at the end of fall. The sun is typically in Sagittarius from November 22nd to December 21st. Being the mutable fire sign, Sagittarius is seen as both curious and energetic. They are the travelers of the zodiac. Sagittarius is presented as a centaur archer, and just like the half horses that they are, they love to roam and run. They are extroverted and optimistic, and they love change in their lives. They crave constant new challenges and experiences, and that's where that travel bug comes in. Above all, Sagittarius values their freedom. Try to tell a Sagittarius what to do, and you'll bring out their impatience, because they see that as stagnation, and stagnation is horrible for Sagittarius. Sagittarius' ruling planet is Jupiter, and remember Jupiter is how you grow and expand. Your Jupiter placement determines your general outlook on life, how and how often you gain new knowledge, and what experiences and things you're enthusiastic about. So, Sagittarius tends to always be looking for new things, new experiences, new friends, and they are generally optimistic about finding all of those things. The key word for Sagittarius is optimistic. Put the sun, moon, or ascendant position in Sagittarius for your character to come off as idealistic or outdoorsy or impatient. And as we've said plenty of times, what sign the sun is in is someone's sense of self, what drives them, and their central instincts. But of course, any planet can be in any position, so let's talk about those other positions for Sagittarius. And just like we've done for all the previous Zodiac videos, I'm going to put examples of characters that I think could have that particular placement so that you have a better idea of what I'm talking about. Your rising sign is what you project out onto the world, and Sagittarius tends to have a hopeful presence. They see the best in the people and situations around them. They're all about big plans, big schemes, exploration, and experimentation. They're often very active people and make great athletes. And to the extreme, they can even be restless, needing constant new experiences and physical activity to satisfy all that energy that's inside them. Their opinions are often inspiring or exciting, but they don't always follow through on those opinions. They're really more of an ideas person. The moon in Sagittarius shows someone who has an emotional need for their freedom. Don't try to put moon in Sagittarius in a cage. No matter how gilded, they will be at best unhappy and at worst resentful. Their optimism can be infectious, attracting lots of people, but their commitment to all of these people can sometimes be less than what others initially expect. It's not that they don't care, they do, but they care more about making sure others aren't controlling them. Next, let's get into the personal planets. You're going to see a lot of the same themes here, but we're going to apply them to the domain of that particular planet. Mercury in Sagittarius colors someone's communication style as optimistic. They're all about big ideas, but they don't spend a lot of time on the details. Since it's Sagittarius, they still value their freedom. So be gentle when reminding a Mercury in Sagittarius that they missed some small but crucial point in their plan. They are also great defenders of justice and freedom, but because they value that freedom so much, their idea of justice might be too radical for some. Venus in Sagittarius colors someone's love and desires as optimistic. For Sagittarius, it's all about growing through their relationships. They tend to begin them with gusto, excited for all of the new experiences and new things they're going to learn about this new partner. 
But once the relationship settles into a pattern, they might struggle, and they don't put up with anyone who has strong inhibitions. When they're unhappy in a relationship, they make like their horse half and run away. Mars and Sagittarius color someone's ambitions as optimistic. They have a ton of projects going on at once, sometimes more than they can handle, but don't tell them that. They want to make their own decisions on when a project has become too overwhelming for them. And in true Sagittarius nature, when that happens, they tend to cut and run. And they do their best when their ambitions involve something physical or something all-consuming. Jupiter in Sagittarius attracts good fortune when they're optimistic. And since this is Sagittarius's ruling planet, this is where it's best expressed. This placement should be generous, tolerant, and practice what they preach. They're very forward-thinking and enthusiastic, and these traits can serve them well in traveling, sports, or publishing. Anything where they can have regular new experiences and attract attention of those who are interested in their big ideas. Saturn in Sagittarius shows a lot of Sagittarius traits in what they fear. They like to keep things simple, nothing too new or surprising. This placement struggles when they don't understand the why behind a new change or experience, and they tend to become a little bit more comfortable once they understand that why. They have a hard time expressing optimism, and they tend to focus on the negative. So for this placement, they should take a step back, take a breath, and try not to always look at things with the glass half empty. And those are our personal planets. Next, let's move to our outer planets, and remember those are less personal, more generational. Uranus in Sagittarius is a time for optimism. Innovation during this time takes looking at new, big ideas. Nothing is off the table, and the details don't matter. What does matter during this time is hope. It is believed during this time that if you push for new ideas, all while hoping, that hope will make it work out. The last time Uranus was in Sagittarius was from February 1981 to December 1988. Neptune in Sagittarius dreams of optimism. This is a time for expanding one's psychic sense. There is an opportunity for understanding the meaning of life on a deeper level. They are seeking tolerance and freedom, and they are very sensitive to the various cages that exist in our world, especially the ones that we put on ourselves. The last time Neptune was in Sagittarius was from 1970 to 1984. Pluto in Sagittarius signifies a time of enthusiastic optimism. This is the time for freedom above all else, and there is a belief that if you hope hard enough, it will happen. This is a prime time for starting new religions or modes of belief. This is a time for adventure not only in travel, but also in thoughts and daily experiences. The last time Pluto was in Sagittarius was from 1995 to 2008. So that's how all of the planets react when they're in Sagittarius. As always, I barely touched on a lot of this stuff, so if Sagittarius interests you, I've linked some of my favorite astrology websites down below. I recommend reading up on the sign. You can find everything there in the description. And of course, do you guys play any Sagittarius characters? I would love to hear about them. Maybe after this video, if you don't, you're thinking of making a Sagittarius character. Again, let me know all about them down below. And as always, don't forget to make it a great day.